All right, we're asked to factor this binomial. Um, it's good to have a little bit of a road map. I've suggested using, perhaps at this point, these four rules. Um, if you see, the very first thing to worry about is there a greatest common factor? You check both terms. There is no common factor, well, other than one. Um, that wouldn't change anything. Then you proceed down the list. Do you have two terms? Yes, there's two terms. Is it a difference of squares? It's a difference, and you might not recognize 225x squared as a perfect square, but I hope you recognize 144y squared as a perfect square. Um, that's The square root of that would be 12y. Um, so it's worth investigating the 225. Okay, I'll slide this out of the way. And it turns out that 225x squared um, the square root of 225x squared is 15x. So um, the thing with difference of squares, you just have to recognize it because there's not a lot to do in the way of calculations. You take the square root of 225x squared. That goes in the first position for each binomial. And you take the square root of 144y squared. That's 12y. That goes in the second position of each. And then to factor the difference of squares, you use a positive in one, a negative in the other, and that ends up canceling out your middle term. So when you use FOIL, um, you just end up with 225x squared minus 144y squared.